And welcome back for another quick discussion video. This one comes to us from Will the Ox Anderson, who asked the question, is there anything left of evil Piccolo left in the Piccolo that we have today? Essentially, the Piccolo we have at the beginning is or where we left off in Super. Is there anything left of evil P uh, King Piccolo in there? And I'm going to say this right off the front. No. Now, here's my reason for why no. Let's start from the beginning and work to the point where I definitively say no. So... Obviously, Kami was not Kami and Piccolo were originally one Namekian. Uh, they split, formed Kami and Piccolo. Piccolo got sealed, got released, and then he got killed. Now, Piccolo that we came to know, at least in Dragon Ball Z, up until he fused with Nail, was basically the same. Was not the same. First off, that that the spike what a lot of people want to think. He's not the same. He's essentially an offspring. He's like. He's not even a clone. He's an offspring with all of his father's traits and things along those lines. But he's not King Piccolo. He's not King Piccolo reborn. He's like 2.0, essentially. Uh, but that being said, you could still make the argument, let's say, that yes, there is King Piccolo in him. Because there's a lot of evil and traits in him, all that stuff. Uh, so, and that existed in him for a good while. Now, we saw that start to leave him right around... Um, Right around uh, the, the, near the end of the Saiyan saga, where he where they got went to fight Nappa and the and it, it, at that point you could make an argument that it, that wasn't the case, it wasn't there. And one big thing is the, the fact that Piccolo, if he had died, still having King Piccolo in him, like still being evil on some level, I believe they even said no, he shouldn't have been able to go to heaven. He shouldn't have been able to go to King Kai and keep his body. He what he ended up uh, he should have just gone straight to hell. So right there, you could make the argument that at that point there was no king evil King Piccolo in him or any vestige of that. But at the same time, I could still see because he was uh, still had animosity towards people at that point. Now, really, throughout the Dragon Ball Z up to that point, you could make the argument that no, it's pretty he's pretty much gone. But I could see a minor argument being made. Even going into the Android arc. But uh, here's the point in the series where I make the definitive argument that no, King, there is no more evil King Piccolo in uh, Piccolo. Is the fact that while they still call him Piccolo, while he still goes by the name of Piccolo, he technically isn't Piccolo. Like, uh, the Piccolo we grew up with in Dragon Ball Z, he technically isn't Piccolo. Because he fused, refused with Kami. By refusing with Kami... His body was chosen to be the host body because it was the younger, stronger body. The power doubled, the gain Kami's wisdom, all that. But they essentially rejoined into the Namekian that they were beforehand. So, yes, in that regard, saying that out loud, he, he shared the same traits of King, evil King Piccolo. But he really wasn't evil King Piccolo in that regard. Even if you want to make the argument that he was evil King Piccolo... Uh, on some minute genetic level, at that point, he and Kami fusing back together, essentially, he wasn't, I think he even said one person, neither Piccolo nor Kami or something like that, but he went by Piccolo anyway. Uh, yeah, he just wasn't, uh, he, he's not Piccolo at that point anymore. He's, at, least, at least he's not, he's neither Piccolo nor Kami. He is who he was beforehand, which is be, which was something that spawned Piccolo, King Piccolo and Kami instead of being King Piccolo and Kami. And that's the thing about that, to understand that concept, that the, there was the being, and King Piccolo and Kami were spawned from him when they split. However, he he was not made up of Piccolo and Kami. Piccolo and Kami did not exist when he was just one being. He had to split and um, create those two from his split. Refusing doesn't necessarily mean that, okay, now we're Piccolo and Kami fused together. No, it's just we're now a, a single being again. Um... And despite what a bridge may make you think, th I mean, there's hints that Nail and Kami still can kind of commune on some level. They showed that in the Tournament of Power arc where he was going up against the Universe 6 Namekians. They talked about how they did the Namekian fusion, and Piccolo sensed, like, hundreds of Namekians inside them, and you see this wall, and all of a sudden Piccolo's on the ground, and you just see Kami and Nail looking over, and Kami just points, like, go on, just save your ass. Um... So, yes, on that regard, you can make an argument that at least Kami and, uh, and Nail are still in him. But, ultimately, well, they are obviously in him. But, ultimately, they are now separate being, a single being. 
and that single being goes by Piccolo. So I'm going to say no. There, Piccolo, there is no rem – and here's the thing. Even if that argument was invalid, all you have to really do – is look at Piccolo's actions, because Piccolo's actions would really tell you whether or not King Piccolo is still in him or not. And by the time we frankly get to the Android Saga, Piccolo just lives in peace, normally trains. He has evil. You could. It has him and Goku are just good rivals and friends at this point. Because when you see them training for the Android Saga, they're going and they get that shing shing and basically cut each other and just have a good solid smile on their face. They just go toe to toe. So yeah. Just looking at that, you can tell, no, there's no evil left in Piccolo. And you want to go further than that? We can go further than that. Piccolo willingly and often it helps Pan and Gohan raise, um, no, sorry, helps Videl and Gohan raise Pan and very much enjoys doing it. <laughs> he gets in the way and protects people all the time. He's protected Go Gohan several times. Look, there's no evil left in Piccolo. Now, if you can think of an argument for me that Evil King Piccolo still exists in, Go uh, in Piccolo, which was the topic that was given to me. I'd be willing to hear hear their thoughts on that. I'm interested to see if someone can make a reasonable argument to say that Evil King Piccolo, Evil King Piccolo, mind you, is still in Piccolo. I don't think he is. I think that guy's been snuffed out and, and, and is done. Now, that being said, there is one, there is one, one excuse I can see someone making is that that is originally in the Majin arc. Vegeta was not the one who was supposed to get the Majin symbol. Glad he did because it gave us some epic moments like, there's one thing I say it always keeps his bride. That was, I love that moment. That is just one of those beast moments right there. Um, but no, it was actually Piccolo who was supposed to get the, Mo at least in the early stages of the, of the uh, planning for the arc from what I found out. Piccolo was supposed to get the Majin symbol on him. So you could make an argument from that little extrapolation that maybe he had a little, enough darkness in him that you could say evil Piccolo's still in there. But because they didn't actually go with that route, that's just speculatory at best. Um, so yeah, I'd say no. King Piccolo is no longer around in, in Piccolo. What do you think? Do you think he is? Do you think he isn't? Let me know in the comments below. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. Ideas for who will win, Star Wars, Superior Magic, what if, anything you do on the channel, put that in the comments below. Let me know. I'll do it. Uh, I'll do a review at some point. I'll be back again later with how many more suggestions do I have? Frankly, I might do like two more other discussions because these are frankly really quick for me to do. They're fun to do and I don't have to do any prep or research really and just give my opinion on it so yeah i'll probably do like two other quick ones just to kind of do some catch up and play um you know do a couple extra ones plus because i'm not going to do an extra one on tuesday because they have the day off because i wasn't even paying attention this coming week is the week of the what if so it's my what if week uh, so stay tuned for all the what ifs i'm going to be doing anyway thanks for watching see you next